How is it going my loves? Elise Parker here. Welcome back to another video and if you are new then welcome. This is going to be a vlog style video where I take you with me throughout my day which is exciting because I have not filmed a video like this in quite some time. So I wanted to start off by talking a little bit about balance. Cultivating balance amongst our personal time, our time spent in social life relationships, work, diet, exercise, spirituality, everything. This hasn't always been a strength in my life. If you've been here for a while and tune in, been tuning into my journey, you know that like there have been main focuses on certain parts of my life and because of that amount of energy and time, there's been other aspects of my life that kind of lack my time and energy and it's it's been a bit imbalanced in the past and it's always been something that I've been striving for to have more balanced and yeah just not feel like one area is totally lacking and I just kind of want to talk about this concept of or truth rather of the aspects of life that we are experiencing challenge with whether that's our health or relationships or finances whatever it may be that challenge is the driving force for evolution, for growth, to strive for something else, something that's more fulfilling, something that's more balanced, something ultimately that is going to serve us better. I think in the past I used to really get so frustrated and like upset and self-judgmental about challenges I was experiencing. And now I see it through a totally different lens, which is the lens that I want to share with you today in case you are in a similar place of getting so freaking frustrated with the challenges in your life. The new lens is essentially so much gratitude for that challenge, for that driving force that is creating the momentum and creating the pull to learn, to grow, to change for the better of our personal evolution. So now, me sharing this video with you today, I feel that my life is more balanced than it's ever been in my past. And I also want to share like one little habit that I have been using, specifically focused around morning routines. I feel like there's kind of this idea of what a template ideal morning routine looks like. It's like green juice, meditation, yoga, journaling, gratitude, kind of just like that bundle of things. I know there have been times in my life and in the messages that I get from you guys from our community, um, there's definitely like this overarching striving to like get through all of those things in a morning routine. I've been using this new approach, which is instead of having those set three to five things in a morning routine every single day, I've created a master list with like 20 different things that feel so good for me. These 20 things just nourish me. They are acts of self-care. They are acts of reflection and intention and all the goodness that a morning routine has. And the way that I interact with this master list is every morning when I wake up, I check in with my personal needs. So I've also recently been diving so much deeper into nonviolent communication. And so I found this needs list, this needs inventory, if you will. I have it saved on my phone, saved on my computer, and I check in with this list. And so every morning I check in, I'm like, what's my primary need and what's my secondary need? So maybe my primary need is independence or my primary need is rest. And based on that primary need, I'm going to choose one morning ritual or one morning practice from my master list to engage in that's going to directly fulfill that unmet need that I have in that specific morning instead of doing this 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 and this which those things might not actually fulfill that need that i have in that moment and so by doing those template morning routine practices that don't necessarily fulfill my need i'm actually disregarding that need i have in that moment and that's going to create less alignment more like bypassing and suppressing when the goal is really to have a morning routine that leads to deeper alignment and energy and connection so that the rest of the day there can be an overflow of energy and love and everything so yeah this 
practice that I've been using, having a primary and secondary need, and then choosing a primary and secondary morning ritual or practice to engage in that directly fulfills and meets that need has been life-changing. And so I wanted to share that with you because to me that goes hand in hand with creating more balance and deeper alignment in myself. So I hope that you can find value and maybe try that out for yourself. And yeah, I'm gonna carry on with my day and I'll check in with you soon. I have just arrived at a little coffee shop. I'm about to grab some coffee or maybe some matcha with my friend Ellie and just catch up with her for about an hour. All right, this is super disgusting. My mask smells like silo, not in like a cute puppy, nice smelling way. I think he was sitting on my mask in the car and it's just like, yeah. my mask smells like silo. But <laughs> Mine like- smells like chocolate. Oh. <laughs> Meet Ellie. Hello. Do you want to let everyone know what time it is? Oh, you're so stinky. <laughs> You're so freaking cute though. All right, Silo is in desperate need of a bath. I'm gonna go get in the shower and wash Silo. I can't really share what, what it's gonna look like cause I get naked in there with him. So that, yeah, it's just easier. So Silo, you're gonna be a clean boy. Okay, now it's time to now it's time to blow dry Silo on the little icy cold setting, <laughs> or not cold, but not a hot setting behind his ears and just like his head area, because if I don't do that, then his ears could get infected. So we're just gonna dry you off a little bit, a little bit here. This is my first time actually sitting down being centered in a few hours. I was just navigating silo, drying his hair, all that. And now I'm finally sitting down at my desk to get some work done. So what I'm diving into is making a thumbnail for the video that you probably saw a few days or a week ago, which is my gratitude practice and making a thumbnail for that. And then another thing I'm diving into is writing the assignment examples for the dream alchemy assignment in my program alignment accelerator so just being super super detailed with what those examples for the assignment look like for those of you who are not familiar which might be a lot of you because i haven't actually really talked about my program on youtube very much at all um, but alignment accelerator is my 10-week coaching program where i support you in stepping into deeper alignment with yourself and learning how to prioritize and tune into your personal needs and your alignment so that you can show up more powerful like a leader in your inner circle or if you are a coach or service provider you can show up as a leader and give and support others from overflow so that's just a little bit about my program i'll share a link in the description where you can learn much more Okay, so I just took a little break from computer work and I made this little Instagram story which is about the power of a pattern disrupt and how it can support you in creating more clarity on what's important to you and how to actually create the life that you want for yourself. So taking a step back, audit, analyzing, looking at what's working, what's not working, and then adjusting accordingly. Reminding you that you create your reality. All right, five million Instagram stories later. It is 4 p.m. 
And at 4.30 or so, I am starting to make dinner for myself and my friends. Every Wednesday, myself and Luke and my friend Rachel and her partner, Alan, have a connection evening for about four hours where one person mainly makes dinner and then somebody else comes up with connection activities where we just con connect authentically, get to know each other. Wow. Um, wow. <laughs> get to know each other better, support each other, you know, just good, fulfilling, deep, meaningful connection. So, I am on dinner duty today, and I was just looking on my phone on Pinterest for the recipes that I'm going to make, and I'm excited. This is what I plan to make. It's grilled salmon with mango avocado salsa and coconut rice, and then I'm also going to make spring rolls, all right, first thing I gotta do is check the freezer to see if I have any salmon, because I have some salmon in here from a long time ago. Our freezer is stocked full because <laughs> we thought that we were gonna need food for three months when COVID first started. So it's really hard to find things in here, but I'm pretty sure that is my salmon. This is the wild caught salmon that I have from butcher box and i also need to go get protein and i'm kind of worried about time so do all gas stations have propane or only some of them i've only refilled my propane like once or twice and it was only at this one specific gas station where i used to live so the fun fact is i've been trying to drink this much water in a day i have yet to actually accomplish it but i figure if i just keep filling this up all the way i will eventually make it happen Inside of here is juice, juice from one whole lemon, juice from one whole lime, a dash of stevia, and a dash of local honey. It's pretty good. Artist 7-Eleven, can I help you? Hi there, do you guys have propane? Yes. Okay, awesome, thank you. You're welcome. All right, let's go on a mission. honestly feel like almost every single aspect of my life is together, pretty together, you know, I'm human, but my car is disgusting. It's been a long time since I have got it cleaned. Let me know in the comments if your car is also disgusting. Alright, this time, safety first. I have, hi Silo, I've officially finished the appetizer. So here we have 
some homemade spring rolls, veggie spring rolls and mango. And in here is coconut aminos and roasted peanut oil. All right, I've also successfully finished mango avocado salsa. And the salmon is on the grill and the coconut rice is in here. here. You're just being a cute little peanut in the corner. That's what you're doing. You're very cute. Yes, you are. These in this house are out of control. We have Silo over here on his own with his little cone because he has some allergies <laughs> waiting by the door. And then we have Luke with his face mask on his neck. Get it! <laughs> holding sky and then what's going on over here it's riding my dog okay and then we have rachel confused just like me. journaling journaling <clears throat> and then there's me with my backpack so glad we connected <laughs> Once an efficient power holding terms of its control over people's lives.